man. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. You just had a really amazing win over Mikey Shaw. I got a knockout win there at Proving Grounds presented by Warrior Camp. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. Like, just trying to keep that momentum going. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. By, on the win, by the way, man. I wish I could have been there live. Thank you, man. <laughs> Oh yeah. So Tapology is showing your record as two and one, but uh, it uh, didn't have this fight on there. So are you now three and one as an MMA fighter? Yeah, I'm three and one as an MMA fighter, and I have one uh, boxing match that I won not too long ago. Gotcha. Okay. Before you walk to the cage or the ring, how are you feeling, man? Are you feeling nervous? Do you have yeah fear come over you at all? Uh, I I I think everybody gets nervous this time actually. I was a little bit more relaxed. Okay. You know, so I think that's what really helped me. And I like to try and go in more and more relaxed every time I go in. Nice. Yeah. And I noticed you're from Los Angeles. What brought you up here to Spokane area? I just had, I had a rough past, you know, it was just, just, I was just a whole different guy. And, and like, so MMA kind of like really helped me change and get my life going and you know, total 360. Um, so, you know, like it was just, it was just some, some stupid stuff. I got stuck out here. I've been out, out here for a year and I just changed my life completely. And, uh, I'm just kind of grateful for that. I found MMA, you know? Yeah. And, and speaking of that, how did you get into this whole MMA thing? And, you know, how, what made you decide to finally just step into the cage and actually compete? Well, like, I was always just grew up fighting. Always okay. fighting. Always just for some reason fighting. So I, I just thought, like, you know, why not give it a go? You know, why not try it? And, you know, it, it helps get me in shape. I always I already like to work out and stuff. So really, I just Googled a place, end up at Spokane Valley Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and just kept training. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, I mean, speaking of Braz Spokane Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu there, or Spokane Valley Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you got killers out there, Daniel Gadley and Adam Smith and Brady Heiston, man. Yeah. How much confidence does it give you being based out of that gym when you go into these fights, man? Oh, man. It's like it's like we're, we're like Golden State back when Golden State was good. You know, that's how <laughs> I try and look at it. Like, I try and uh, just raise, you know, just I just want to be a good asset to the team, you know, and uh, – that's how we go out there. You know, it's like a team mentality. And that's what I like about the gym. They don't just focus on one. It's like we're going in as a team. So, yeah. you know, I try and look as good as I can because I know I represent them good, them guys right there, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Now, is the goal to eventually go pro as a fighter? And do you have a plan, a timeline of when you want to do that? I, I I tend to like to rush things. Luckily, I got a good coach, okay. you know, so – I do want to go pro most definitely. I guess, you know, just when the time is right. I've only been doing it probably about, like, nine months now. Okay. You know, so it, it's been going fast for me. It's been going fast so far. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, when the time is right, I'll say about a year or two, you know, maybe go pro. When can his fans expect to see you back in the cage? March 7th. March 7th, okay. Got to be at the Coeur d'Alene Casino at the WFC event, yeah? Yeah. Uh, do you know yeah. who you're fighting yet? Uh, I believe uh, I, I'm like probably about 80% sure it's going to be a, a Matthew Schmoyer. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll be a good matchup, man. Yeah. Right on, dude. When you're in the cage, are you able to zone out the noise and uh, be able to listen to your coaches? Or are you kind of just like once the door closes, you've got your own mindset going and you know what to do there? Actually, my first couple fights, I, I was uh, able to zone it out. Okay. But in a way, I don't. I, I like to be able to know everything that's going on. So, like my last few fights, I would hear my coaches more, and I hear everybody else more. Okay. It's like the more relaxed, the more I'm hearing, and that's yeah. what I kind of want. I kind of want that, you know. Yep. Yep. Even if it's the negative, even if it's the bad, you know, I want to hear everything. I want to know everything, you know. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Now, there's a lot of controversy around weight cutting sometimes where people say it's healthy. Some people say it's not, depend on the weight cut. What's your weight cut process actually look like? Man, I just I just had to go down to 145 last fight. Usually I fight at 155, okay. and um, it's not nothing. It's nothing, you know. It's like a couple pounds. This time at 145, it was harder because I didn't know what I was really doing. So yeah. I think it just goes with – I, you know, everybody can have a different method. I think it just goes with uh, just your body, you know, like, so 
this last weight cut was rough for me. I didn't like because I didn't have enough knowledge. It, it it can I think it's it felt it felt how I did it. It felt healthy. I, I yeah. went about it the healthy way, you know. Uh, but I believe also it could be very detrim- detrimental if you're not doing it right, you know. So I guess it just goes on on, on what what type of body type you have, you know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, man. Well, cool, dude. I wanted to shift to a couple of fun questions here. I've got these things. They're called pod decks. And it's literally just random questions. I'm going to pull one of these out. We'll see if it's a flop. Uh, maybe it's real or maybe it's good. I don't know, man. This one says, <laughs> what is the weirdest thing you find attractive in someone? <laughs> uh, uh, probably like feet. I like women's feet, you know. Okay, okay. Think they think it's weird. <laughs> Come on, man. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> where they're like every time i'm like why don't you like your feet they're cute you know yeah. oh they're gross they're gross i don't know why you like that come on <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> that is awesome <laughs> i said you're going to get me in trouble <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great dude thanks for answering that one <laughs> But uh, I'm a music guy. Uh, love love asking people, what's your favorite type of music, or do you have a favorite group or a band that you like to listen to? Ah, man. I listen to all types of music. My favorite genre would be probably uh, hip-hop and R&B, you know? Music has kind of went downhill with, when it comes to the hip-hop. But yeah. I kind of like to listen to I kind of like to listen to Drake a lot nowadays. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right on, right on. Now, last fun question here for you. You seem to post a lot of sweets, like pies and cakes and stuff like that. <laughs> so what's your go-to sweet tooth relief there, man? Oh, man, cheesecake. Cheesecake, okay, right on. <laughs> cheesecake, yeah. That's hey, awesome. Hey, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? That happened around that, uh, that weight cut. Okay. I started going through it, man. I started just having, you know, it was like food porn. I just... Everything I'm seeing, I'm like, oh, man, I wish I could eat it, and I couldn't eat it, man. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah. wanted to give you an opportunity, too, man, to just give a shout-out to teammates, coaches, sponsors, anything like that, man. The camera's all yours. Oh, man, I just want to give a shout-out to uh, my whole team, Adam Smith, Daniel, uh, Eric, you know, Jose, uh, Noah Connors, everybody at the gym, everybody at Spokane Valley. Um, also, shout out to all the other gyms, man, you know, especially those that are doing good for the community and the kids, you know, you know, this is a really good place. Um, I found we have a really good community of fighters yeah. and everybody's respectful. And I just like to see that. And I want to keep that going as much as possible, man. Yeah, absolutely. man. I, I agree. hundred percent, man. The fighters and the gyms around this area. Uh, so extremely respectful of each other, man. So, Faison, it has been an absolute honor to have you on my show, man. Thank you so much for taking the time, man. I so appreciate it. Thank you, man. I appreciate this too, man. Thank you. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging around. Really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more videos from Top Rated MMA and the Bearded Biz Show, please click the playlist and also hit subscribe to our channel. Become part of the Top Rated MMA and Bearded Biz community. We would really appreciate your support. Also, please leave a comment below. I will read and respond to all of them. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.